hey guys so today this is gonna be an um anti-haul of what i'm not gonna be buying um whether it's the sephora sale or just in general i have to tell you i used to drop shame shamefully i used to drop like 10 grand at sephora a year in my um younger years i was foolish i had i had like a minimum wage job but i literally literally would blow my check at sephora and because there was just so much good stuff but now that's just not the case like i'm lucky if i spend like fifteen hundred dollars and it's i mean my my skincare is expensive from there but anyway i just feel like there's just not a lot of pretty stuff and then you're gonna see me in a week with my <laughs> sephora haul but anyway so I want to go based off of trend mood. I will be putting pictures here or here of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to be looking at them um, on my phone. So let's start with um, let's start with the the new post. She put there's a new um, Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. It's like red red tones rose tones i will not be buying that i have i don't the only palette i have from her or from them is like the weed palette um which is really nice but i mean i haven't really um liked any of their other ones and the next thing i have is let's see the makeup eraser egg okay that is very cute i enjoy the makeup erasers very much but i will not be buying that um, just because I prefer the sets that come with seven and this one it is very cute though for a gift for Easter uh, to put in like a teenager's Easter basket um, and if or if you're an adult getting an Easter basket is very cute as well um, the next thing on Treadmoon's page is the Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall collab I I it's not that Kylie Cosmetics is bad. I just feel like it doesn't speak to me. Um, I feel like it's more for like a teenager. And I'm not a teenager. Um, the only thing that I kind of like, I've been really into lip crayons. I got one in this Sephora's favorite set by Rose Ink. And I've been loving it. So they have a set with that. I might, I might get that, but... Other than that, they have an eyeshadow palette. They have a cheek palette, which is really, really cute. I just don't think I, like, need it. But it's just very, very cute. And it looks to be good quality. And the eyeshadow is also okay. There's nothing... There's nothing to write home about. I'm sorry. I put the... I turned on the, the video. The next thing we have here is the new Extra Celestial Collection from ColourPop. Okay, ColourPop, I have a love-hate relationship. I feel like I their products are good, and obviously they're in a good price point, but I feel like they're inconsistent. I feel like some, like you'll get a palette or a makeup item, and it's amazing, and then you'll buy another one, and it's crap. I like their blushes. I bought in a ton of blushes from them, and like I remember the Kathleen Lights Collection brushes, or blushes. I bought them, and they were amazing and then I bought from another collection and they weren't good or they were dusty I have some that I've bought that don't even show up on my face and I'm white AF okay so they don't show up on me like who are they gonna show up on like Casper's but anyway so that's my issue with Colourpop I love the brand I think they're very creative I think they're innovative but I think that there's a lack of consistency in like the powder products not so much the creams or like lipsticks and stuff like that but that is all the next thing on here is the uh Tony Moly Jelly Lip Milk this looks really really cute I'm not really big on dipping my fingers in anything <laughs> so I will not be purchasing that and next um we have the dominique cosmetics new palette um it's very very beautiful i feel like this is just me literally going down the list and saying that i'm not gonna buy any of this shit um it looks very beautiful but it just it's very very pretty actually for the summer 
but I just that mermaid mesmerized color is beautiful but I don't know if I'm just gonna buy it just for that so no and then let's see what's on what else is on here mm -hmm. okay Rem Beauty is coming to Ulta okay so that way other people can try and see that it's not good like I'm sorry and I think like that's a makeup line in my opinion in my opinion and I kind of feel bad even seeing this because like she worked on but I feel like those are the kind of like makeup lines that you can tell that the person like doesn't really give a shit about and it's a money grab because it's just so boring like I ordered and I and I can have an opinion because I <laughs> because I bought literally like when it came out, I bought one of everything. And then, so I have a, a couple things with that. Um, one, it's boring as hell. It performed just like a drugstore uh, makeup. The good thing is that the price point is a fair in my opinion, but how it performed, I feel like it should be um, drugstore pricing. And then two, their customer service sucks. Like for you to make a return or exchange, you need to email them and then they email you back. And then I did that. I sent the stuff back and they didn't give me my money back for one of the things I sent. So I feel like that just also left a bad taste in my mouth. So I guess now if it's at Ulta, it'll be easier to like return. But in my opinion, like I don't think, <sighs> I don't like that brand. I will, I will not buy it unless they come out with something that is just like crazy effing good that everyone's like dying over. And I'm like, okay, I need to try it. Like, I'm not, I'm just not gonna buy it. Um, so I can go to Ulta, cause I'm, I will go to Ulta, I just won't buy anything. And then the next thing is the um, Avatar collection from Colourpop. Very, very cute, I used to love that show. But again, like, I just, I'm just, I get after this, maybe I should do a video of what I will buy, because I, literally I'm going through the list on her Instagram and I'm not gonna buy anything. Um, so very cute, but again, not going to buy anything. And then the next thing is the Bridgerton collab with PMG. Very, very pretty. I do not understand why you would make an eyeshadow palette exactly the same as the one before, but just change one color. I feel like that's... I, I want to say what happened was that maybe, and maybe I'm wrong because this came out... Um, right when the second season started so maybe it was planned but I feel like looking at it it makes more sense like both of them should have gone up at the same time and then you want it you picked like your pink or blue at least for the eyeshadow so I'm thinking maybe that's why I just think that's ridiculous like it's $65 and six shades and they're like the same as the other one except for the gold and then that same gold is probably like the highlighter gold that was in the first collection. So I just feel like it's kind of silly. Um, I was actually, when I saw it, I loved the circle blush palette thing. But then I looked at it and, and this is, I guess, because how you can tell I'm getting older. Is that like those colors are just going to look way too dark on me. And I don't like like hot pinks like that. I really enjoy peach blushes or like more like peach brown nude type of blushes so I was gonna buy it and then I was like why like I'm not gonna use it and it comes with three blushes and then like a heart-shaped highlighter which probably will be glittery and then it comes with two like glitter puffs which again my clear days are long gone um very cute but not gonna buy and then the last thing in the collection well, there's like a black pencil that on online I saw that it wasn't even going to ship till like April. Just whatever. And then the lipsticks. The lipsticks are super cute and they're only $28. Usually her lipsticks are like $38. So possibly I will buy a lipstick, but I'm going to buy it through Sephora. I'm not going to buy it through her website. The first uh, Bridgerton collab, I bought the eyeshadow and the blushes and they took like three weeks to get here. And her shipping always takes forever. So I'd rather, I didn't know it was going to go to Sephora and then I saw them on Sephora and they're still in stock. So I'm sure this collection is going to go to Sephora. So I'll get the lipsticks from them and hopefully it'll be the 20% off so I can get a discount um but I think that is all I'm going to go through I've been talking a lot um but anyway if you like this and you want to hear me talk more shit and all that please subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye mm -hmm.